that's something you learn. So we've made it to day 23 and I'm hoping we, we must be getting close to when this community Sveta has left. Don't think she'll be back. <sighs> Unwise of her to, to move, to be honest. Unwise of her to leave. Hey, Pavel. Bruno. Boris. So pretty much everyone is kind of just falling apart right now. Boris has got a hangover. Right, let's see who's got the most. Bruno is starving. They're bo both the guys are starving, which is obviously not great. Uh, let's get Boris to make some food, if we can anyway. It's not my first time playing this game, but um, I've only done, done about sort of two or three sessions, and um, I think there's still a lot of things that I can do much better with this. So yeah, but if this is the kind of game which I really enjoy because it doesn't really matter like if you make mistakes and things because it's sort of a narrative, so it's all like a learning process. So even if you do, uh, I need some more water. Do I? Ugh. Um, so even if you do make mistakes, it all kind of adds to the narrative and it just creates a different story. In some ways, if you played it through in the same way every single time, it wouldn't be such an interesting story. So I kind of like that. Come on, dude. Chop, chop. Boris is like the linchpin right here. He's holding everything together and if we lose him or if he freaks out and just you know gives up, we're going to be really screwed, to be fair. At least we can get attacked last night, that's the only thing. Right, let's get some water, dude. Yeah, I know you can check on their bio to see what they're thinking, but um, I kind of pretty much know. Pavel says we're better off without Sveta. We can't just sit idly, we need to get food as soon as possible. It's all very well, dude, but uh, you are not willing to do anything, so... Right, let's get some water. Uh, you know, Bruno also says we don't really need Sveta, we can make it through without her. If we've got any food left, I'm starving. So we need to get them food and stuff. But I really need these guys to kind of pull it back and bring it together. I don't even know whether you can pull them back from being broken because so far nobody has managed to. Um, come on, Boris. Really importantly, though, I have to keep Boris uh, sort of together right now because he is in such a bad state. He's depressed as well. Um, what have we got actually? Let's just talk with Pavel. Does talking help them come out of the being broken though? That's the thing. Right now he's sort of giving him a shake. And I kind of feel like they should just be like, come on, man, get it together. I think the talking aspect, the talking aspect has been like uh, something that I neglected really early on. And so they got into a really bad sort of state of emotion. And so it's become more difficult for me to pull that back for them right now. So I'm hoping Boris, just by talking to him right here, will like shake him out of this and bring him back together. Yeah, getting them well fed has been also an issue. I think again, like, there were some things that I could have done a lot better early on. So like making, um, I could have, you know, used my materials a lot better early on in order to keep them in a better state. Because I think it's like one of these things where, from the very beginning, you need to try and keep them up with, you know, getting the best stuff possible, making sure they talk, giving them the food. Uh, but it, it is very difficult early on. But things like making a crowbar and a shovel would have helped me a lot get access to things that I needed early on and build up a good stockpile, make the house safer. One of the biggest problems for us was that we kept getting raided constantly. And in getting raided, people got injured, we just in a really bad place. Is this finished collecting water? Oh yeah, it just kind of collects into here. Some thoughts. Uh, fortunately, our shelter is a place where we can get some respite from war. All breaches are still boarded up, so that's good. Uh, 
Right, Pavel is no longer broken, but he's still not in a, the best situation. Let's give him some food. Oh, I should have made food, that was the problem. I just give him that, I forgot. <laughs> God, it's so bad. This is why I'm not doing very well. Okay, let's get Boris to cook. At least we can make something decent. I'm actually going to have Boris to eat this because whilst I obviously do want to feed uh, Bruno, I'm also pretty aware of the fact that uh, Boris is the only person keeping us going at this point, so I need to sort of keep that in mind. Pavel, I hope that we can uh, get things back together for pretty soon. Alright, let's get on. And we need to find some good stuff. Right, Boris is going out. The other two are sleeping in beds. Strangely, some things are not available to us anymore. Some places are now cut off due to fighting. So, that's interesting as well how it kind of reduces your options as to where you're going to be able to go to. I'm tempted to go to this warehouse. Lots of food and materials, lots of meds. It's very dangerous though. Some food, lots of meds, lots of weapons, lots of parts. We have taken 61% of the stuff from there though. Shelled school 77%. The old town... The old town has got only 22%. Let's go here. Let's take our standard thing. It didn't say there's any danger, but I still want to take my knife. I don't, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to take a knife. It's too risky otherwise. Okay, let's just have a little look, see what's in, going on in here. I don't think there's any people here. Reinforced door and boot prints indicate some people had chosen this building as their refu refuge before it was hit by a shell. I'm not sure where I'm going to find the best stuff here. So let's just look around. I'm not sure when Boris was slightly wounded though. Alright, crowbar this open. Car here. Some stuff out there. Uh, some little bits and pieces. I'll take that off for now. Let's see what's down here. Trash and dirt. Let's go through here. I don't want to go through that yet if I don't have to. We can unbarricade this. Tobacco, ooh, we've got some jewellery, that'd be good for trading, some alcohol, more guns, take all of that. See what's in this. Tobacco, gun parts and all the rest of it, okay, take that. Let's unbarricade this and go upstairs. Up the top. Barred from the other side. Oh crap, and we can't go through here. 
Well, that is a problem for us. We're going to be stuck then. There's no way to go from the outside. Ugh, I really need a saw blade, and I, I've yet to find one. Because there's several places now which are, like, barricaded to me because of this. It's so annoying I can't, like, batter through this door. Right, so now we will see what else we can find, I guess. What's on this sofa right here? Oh, it's just to sit down. <laughs> I think the thing that says sniper is probably an indication that we shouldn't go outside. Right, we'll just see what we can find here. This is frustrating though, I really had hoped to find food, but we have found a lot of other materials, so I guess that's good. Uh, wood and stuff. I don't think there's anything else for us right now. Frustrating though. I'm going to see whether we can... Um, I see what other like sort of tools are available to me back at the base. I think right, let's get out of here. Need food. Need food. Okay, we did get a lot of materials there though, so that was good. Hopefully, we haven't been raided during the night because that would be obviously very bad. Really good haul. Look at what I got. Somebody's probably died in the night. Of course. Uh, like I said, the way we're going, Boris is mean anyone left alive. Pavel's just gone, he can't handle it. Bruno is starving, we need to get him food. Well, we did good in terms of uh, materials, we've just done bad in terms of keeping people here. Um, I don't think we have food right now, though. Yeah, we need we need food very badly. I don't know if I can set my trap with anything right now. Boris needs to rest now though, so he can go out tonight. Yeah. Okay, so we can set this. So that's basically going to be catching food for us. Let's go and see things that we can make right here. Uh, let's go to this one. Boris is hungry, wounded, depressed, and tired. He's saying we should think about heating. What do we upgrade to, though? We still need more other components, apart from making tools such as an axe. Oh, a saw blade. Okay, so we have to improve the metal workshop. Fix broken firearms and helmets here. So, we need more components and more wood, basically. We need wood and components, which we can find easily, but... Okay, let's just uh, talk to Bruno, and then we'll get him to rest. Bruno's starving. So, the two things we really need right now are... Oh. The two things we need right now really are food and some materials, other elements, which I can find easy enough. So, we can maybe hold on. My main concern right now is that Bruno is uh, really in no shape to defend the shelter, so we're kind of just relying on pure luck to try and keep things going. But we've gone from a fairly strong group down to just the two of us. So once he's to have had a chat, I'll get Boris some sleep, and then he's got to find food, and he's got to find just general components. <laughs> now go away. It's like, all right, mate. The way things are going, bloody Bruno's going to uh, leave as well. I'm going to be in a really bad way. But I really have I've enjoyed this session through up to this point because I think we've learned so much that when we come back through and do it again, we're going to be leagues ahead in terms of decisions that we make. So, Come on.
Come on, finish talking, dude. They're having a real heart-to-heart, -heart, which I think is pretty important right now. But at the same time, I do need Boris to rest. There we go. Oh, thank Christ. Bruno is finally no longer... Bruno is no longer broken. I managed to bring him back from the edge. Right, to end the day. That's really, really good news for us. Okay, it's saying that we should send um, Bruno out, but that's obviously not what's going to happen. I'm going to get him to guard. I need Boris to go out. I'm tempted to check out this warehouse. The hotel is also an option. Lots of food, small caution advised, possible trade. Pro, uh, Podrin travel agencies to own this small yet luxurious hotel. The owners fled the city before the siege, along with the foreign journalists who have been staying there. Someone moved in recently and spread the news that he was willing to barter. Maybe he has something useful to us. Okay, let's go check this out, because that sounds better than the warehouse. I'm going to take my crowbar and sh shovel. I probably don't need the shovel, but you never know. Uh, I think that's all I want to take tonight. Okay. No, I don't, I don't really want to kill them. Someone on the stream saying we should, I should just kill the guys here one by one. I don't really want to kill people because um, last time when I did actually kill someone, it made everybody in the house so depressed and unhappy that that basically broke them straight away. Um, so if I can, I would like to avoid killing people because that seems to be like an incredibly bad thing to do. Well, that was the thing that I said about it. It was kind of ridiculous that, you know, I was trying to go to somewhere to find things, and yet I ended up having to kill someone in defense, um, and it was just terrible. All right, quietly going in here. Oh shit. There's clearly somebody here, but I'm making small noises. Oh shit. Hey stranger, want to trade? Go to the first floor. It's okay, he seems pretty happy. Let's see what we can find in this. So these guys seem pretty passive. We need these things to get our saw blades so we can go back and get some other materials from other places, which I do remember. Let's go in here and then we'll go upstairs. There's another drawer here. I'm trying to get through these bits and pieces as quick as possible so they don't catch me doing it. A little bit of food there. Fertil well, it's fertilizer. We're doing not bad. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly good here in terms of scavenging stuff, but maybe it's all in the, the central area. Some coffee and things. I'm trying to just find some good, like maybe food or bits and pieces. Let's keep going up here, maybe there's some more up here. Doesn't feel like there's going to be anything here. There's a lot of space over the top here. We've still got plenty of time and we're barely halfway through, so... Lots of wood. Uh, again, I'll take it all and I can drop it if I need. Maybe some meds up here? No. Cupboards are always good. Oh, hello. Who the hell is this person? They look like they're on guard or something. Just can't get through there anyway. Fertilizer and uh, more sort of tobacco and things. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to dig through that actually. Actually, no, no, screw it. It's fine. Come on, let's let's get in this. This guy's not bothered. Yeah, see, this is the stuff we need. Uh, might consider dropping some bits and pieces in a minute if I need. That we're fine for now. Actually, just go down here.
Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. Go back down. Go back down. Let's go through here. Right, so uh, we'll go back down and see whether they want to trade or anything. That's blocked from the other side. Okay. This guy's gonna be like, I told you to go to the first floor, dude. I'll check that on the way out. Hello, what's this? Please be food. Private property, uh, so I need to back on stuff. Oh shit. Oh well. I guess we wanted the tobacco. We need food though, so let's see if we can't get food. Hello! Yeah, we need food. Ah, oh, they've got so little. Well, really what I want is this and this. I'm not too concerned about the rest. Try harder. How about weapon parts I just found in your own house? How about some coffee? No. Tobacco, because we actually have got quite a lot of that already. There we are, we've got a deal. Great. We need this food, we need it bad. Okay, great. But I don't want to harass these guys, they've got other stuff going on here, but um, I don't want to sort of uh, bombard them too much. Come on, Boris, get a move on. Nothing. This guy's patrolling with a gun, so I'm very tempted to not go up there. I don't know or not I don't know whether they would shoot me, but I don't really want to take the risk either. Oh shit. Okay. I'm not sure I should really be uh, stealing from their stuff whilst this guy's in view, so just wait for him to move away a little bit. Okay, there we go, we'll just get this. Ah, some tobacco, eh? And another tomato fertilizer thing. That's it, that's great. Okay, let's get out of here. Well, we got some good stuff. We can make our saw blade. If we can survive another night, I think I'd take that saw blade to the other place we were at and then saw through and maybe there's some food there, I think. Please let Bruno not be dead. Or